everyone, this is Just Call Me Dutch. And today, we got a little something special for you. As you already know, San Diego, California is dealing with a second lockdown. Isn't that great? So again, I can't even go outside without shit already happening. <laughs> So what exactly are we gonna do this time during this lockdown? Cry that the gyms are closed? We're not gonna do that. Uh, again. We're literally going to do ghetto lifting workout. As you actually see here in the bags, I literally filled these bags with nothing but actual sand I bought at Home Depot. But why? So let's do some sample workouts. Curls for the girls. Drugs for some hugs. Front raises for the cock raises! Oh, 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 I mean, uh, uh, move to the next scene! Farmer carries for the longer carries! Why do these workouts feel oddly familiar? You've been doing this kind of stuff since you were a kid. You take groceries from your car on the first try because you ain't no goddamn beef! Oh my god, I've been training this moment my whole life! What? Lockdown time? No, you buffoon! Ghetto lifting workouts! Thank you. Thank you, grocery gods. You are welcome, my fat ass But now, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have some real fun. Yeah! There we go. You see this thing? This is a keg. Now, I understand some of you might have probably bought one during this lockdown, but now, we filled it with sand. Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? We are now going to not only drink the calories from this cake, but we're also now going to burn the calories with this cake. I know it's, it's extremely difficult and our lives has firstly changed because of the lockdown. This tank can is not going to control your life. You listen to me little shit, you're not going to control my life. I'm going to lift you around. Yo. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to lift this K. As you can see, this thing weighs roughly about 170 pounds filled with sand. Now, this not only works out your grip strength, your back strength, and of course, your core strength and your legs. But who really does legs nowadays? Be careful when you actually do this lift because it can get extremely complicated because if you make a mistake, you're going to have a bad day. So make sure it's right under you you lift this bad boy up just like that, and then have complete control, because you don't want this thing falling on your We now return you to your regularly scheduled podcast already in progress. Okay. So after you've given up on the pain because you found some pills in the back alley of a 7-Eleven, we're going to move on to our very last example here. The shoulder press. Just let me go grab another pill real quick. <laughs> now you actually see the bar on the ground here. You're probably wondering why are there no safety nets for me when I do this. Because again, we're doing some ghetto lifting workouts. We don't need to worry about safety, precautions, or anything like that. I don't like where this is going. Just make sure you have equal amount of sand on each side, and you're going to be fine. Get right up here, just like you're going to do a power clean. Grab the bar, pray to Lord Jesus that you don't hurt yourself now, and lift it up. Oh God. And then, right here, and just like, bring it up. Careful, it does shake a lot, and you might hurt. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, ow. Okay, actually, this is real. This is actual pain. Oh. Oh my god, ow. Ooh. God. So, that's the end of the video, people. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, Take all injuries seriously because that can come at a very good cost. I did this for you people, so have good luck in the future. I'm going to go lay down now. Um.